Top 5 Wealth Building Books Number 5. Rich Dad Poor Dad I suspect that most of you will have guessed that this book would be on the list, and it does deserve its place here. The author, Robert Kiyosaki, has used his principles in his own life and been greatly rewarded financially for it. He speaks from experience and manages to do so in an easy-to-understand way. I enjoyed this book immensely when I read it for the first time and it really changed my way of looking at money and wealth building. Number 4. One Up on Wall Street This book is great. Not only does Peter Lynch give a rundown of how he invests, but he uses a sensible approach while investing. He examines how to analyze a company, its operations its financial statements and various other important factors when making an investment decision. The author, Peter Lynch, has also written another great book which is aimed at teenagers, Learn to Earn. Number 3. The Richest Man in Babylon How are the sophisticated doing financially? By sophisticated, I mean the affluent, high-income earners who spend most of what they make. Richest Man in Babylon is timeless like Think and Grow Rich but written in a style like the very popular Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. An easy read. Informative and entertaining. Number 2. Air Next Door. I thoroughly enjoy this book. The authors, Thomas Stanley and William Danko, have a very easy to read casual style. One reviewer on Amazon sums the book up brilliantly. Every now and then very, very special book comes along with a aha and this is such a book. Many people are spending their way through high incomes, keeping up with the Jones high profile lifestyles encumbered with high debt and zero savings. I worked for a millionaire one time who said money buys clothes, clothes don't buy anything. He advised us to buy our toys clothes, cars, vacations etc off profits of profits and never spend principal. That is the basic premise of this book, build profits, then enjoy them, but don't spend principal. Number 1. Think and Grow Rich First published in 1937, this is the end product of two decades of research conducted by Napoleon Hill. His research started when Andrew Carnegie gave him the assignment of organizing a philosophy of personal achievement. Hill, who was a poor journalist, armed with just an introductory letter from Carnegie, set out to interview over 500 successful people including Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, John D. Rockefeller, George Eastman, William Wrigley Jr. and Charles M. Schwab. Hill then revealed the priceless wisdom of his research in the form of the 13 steps to success found in this book.